ATT Action 7 News at 10 starts right now. We're seeing weather activity pick up in parts of the state mm -hmm. after a stretch of drier weather. Meteorologist Byron Morton is tracking some changes. Hundreds turn out in support of abortion rights in Albuquerque, plus a conversation about protecting access that our governor had with President Biden. But first, let's get back to the weather. Mm -hmm. And a look at this viewer video from Grant County. Brandy McCauley says it was coming down hard in Dix Canyon. Wow, that was very strong. You can see all the rain and wind. Now the rain causing new evacuations for residents in San Miguel and Mora counties. This is because of flooding risks for the Cap Canyon Herbert's Peak Fire. Some of the areas being evacuated are on your screen right now. For the latest evacuation information, go to koat.com. If you're unable to evacuate, seek higher ground and do not attempt to cross flooded roadways. Lana Atencio sharing more video of flooding from Lower Rosiata. Evacuations are in place there. As you can see, floodwaters covering the roads. And now here's fire with details on this flooding rain. Yeah, and we got a tough situation because those wildfires have created these massive burn scars, and those create a very high risk for flooding. The burn soil acts as a repellent. It's kind of like asphalt, and the water runs right down it, and it can create flash floods quickly. And it only takes about a quarter of an inch of rain to cause that flash flooding. And then once that water is rolling down the hillsides and the mountains, it pulls all the debris down with it it's from the trees and everything that was burned, creating those debris flows that can clog the creeks and streams. This is a loop of the radar over the past six 